on behalf of the Indian National Commission and myself I extend a very cordial welcome to Mr. Border Director General of UNESCO on the occasion of his first official visit to India stop the welcome is greater as we have been expecting him since last year and the disappointment felt at his inability to fulfill his engagement then has accentuated our pleasure in finding him in our midst today stop we welcome him not only because he is the director general of unesco but also because of the personal contribution he has made both before and since he assumed that office towards the furtherance of peace through education stop his work in a rural adult education in mexico won the appreciation of discerning critics all over the world stop ever since he assumed office as director general he has given a new impetus to the program of fundamental education and the service of underdeveloped areas stop i have every hope that his present tour of india ceylon and pakistan will establish closer bonds between unesco and these countries and led to greater efforts in the cause of education for peace and unity stop unesco is one of the specialized agencies of uno which was established to achieve international unity and peace stop we must however confess that world unity on the political plane is still a distant goal stop the world organization which have been set up to achieve political unity whether as the league of nations or the united nations organization have not yet achieved anything that can rekindle the hopes of men stop uno founded to solve all political problems in a spirit of equity by remaining free from entanglement with power blocks is unfortunately itself becoming a victim of power politics stop the conflicts between nations that formerly marked the field of diplomacy are now often displaced in the deliberations of uno stop how can we then hope that uno will succeed in its aims unless it can disentangle itself from the fact of political groupings and judge all questions from the point of view of international justice and peace stop while aware of the present shortcomings india is nevertheless a staunch supporter for world peace is so precious an objective we cannot give up any instrument which offers even a remote hope of achieving it stop and what instrument of world peace can there be other than uno